This method that I'm going to show you for changing your IP address on cable internet will work for many, but not all people. It depends on your internet service provider. I use Comcast and it works every time. I've also tried it on Charter Cable and someone told me it works on Roadrunner as well. The best way to see if it works for you is just to try it. And maybe after trying you can post a comment below with the name of your ISP and let everyone know if it worked for you. Okay, so the big secret is that when many internet service providers issue an IP address to a customer, they associate the IP address with the MAC address of the device connected to your modem, which is most likely your computer or your router. Each device has a unique MAC address. Therefore, when you swap devices, you'll very likely find that you've got a new IP address as well. So the easiest way to do this, if you're using a router, is to unplug the modem, remove the router, plug the Ethernet cable directly into your computer, and then turn your modem back on. Then wait a minute or so for the modem to restart, and then go to a site like findmyipaddress.com to see if your IP has changed. Another thing you can do, if you're a geek like me and have an extra router, is simply swap routers and restart the modem. That always gives me a new IP. And it's also possible that you might be able to change the MAC address of your router manually, but I'll save that for another video. So as the warning mentioned earlier, use this method sparingly. It's reasonable to think, or for your ISP to think, that you might be connecting a new device to your modem once in a while, but if your ISP sees that you're getting a new IP address issued every day, that might be a problem. So this is a good one-time approach. Um, if you need to change your IP address more often, or if you need an IP address in a different geographic location, I'd be happy to help you set up a private relay proxy, or VPN. Um, if that interests you, please check out my site at www.myotherip.com. And thanks for watching.